Once you have your data in Logger Pro, you may find that the scale of your graph doesn't fit your data. So here all my data is right down near the bottom. I can't really see what's going on. The easiest way to change your scale is just to click on a number and pick, okay, it looks like it's all less than 10. You can type in 10 there. Uh, it still looks like I could do better. Maybe everything's less than 2. I could type in a 2 here. So that's generally the easiest way to scale your graph. We pretty much always want to be on a zero unless you have negative numbers. And then you could click down here and make sure you get your negative scale as well. Let's go back, make that zero because we don't have any now. Um, another way to scale is to drag. If you move your mouse cursor till it shifts to a little squiggly line like that, now I can drag this down. And notice the bottom is still staying at zero. I'm only affecting the top numbers. So you can drag it that way. Um, and that does a pretty good job. Um, but it puts you in random numbers here, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 2, 2.1, 2 2.2. .2. So it's not quite as clean as just going in and typing a number and saying now it goes from 0 to 2. The last way you can do it that I don't recommend using, at least maybe just as a start, is auto scale graph. If I click on auto scale, notice I've lost my 0 down here. There is an option under experiment or data. Where is it? Uh, I can never find it. Here it is. Uh, no, no, no. Analyze. Oh, there we go. Zoom auto scale from zero. There it is. Okay, so under analyze auto scale from zero, that's going to bring me back to zero. But again, what's this number here at the top? 1.2 ish. So again, we might want to click in there and make a nice smooth number. Notice over here we also lost our 10. So the last point is right on the edge there. And if we make that a 10, we can see everything more clearly. So manually putting, fixing a number in here is generally a better way to do it than any of the other options. But those other options are there for you for maybe a quick look at your data and then manually set it when you're ready to publish it. All right, that's all there is.